My name is Paul Abounty, and this took place in Decatur, Illinois. And as a senior, it is difficult to realize that some rights are non-existent, and fighting for a parent's life and rights to a trust is a battle of one's own. No entity, not human rights, not area on aging, not Medicare, con congressional representatives, Illinois backing, banking oversight, Arctic, or protesting, which we did, nothing brought intervention for our loved one or shed light on the missing trust. My father had a recognized mental health disability for which he received a pension since World War II, and my mother had early stage dementia. My mother was placed in a court-ordered guardianship. She was a wealthy woman placed in a primarily Medicaid nursing facility, administered a DNR upon admission, and that was illegal. Prescribed an antipsychotic illegally and given the right to refuse to eat. In five weeks, she was little more than a vegetable, unable to speak, eat, walk, or control her, her bowels with no intervening care. Before admission, she ate breakfast out daily with friends, walked, talked, and controlled her bowels. Desperately, we reached out for resources to help. None existed. While visiting from, from Colorado, we were thrown out of the nursing home facility for taking a picture of my mother's condition. My mother was enrolled in hospice by her guardian. My efforts to discover the trust left for her care were thwarted. My dad spoke of a trust and how he had to have two wills the last time I saw him. He was referring to a living trust, of course, written by attorney James Brinkotter of Decatur, Illinois, with the cooperation of Soy Capital Bank and Trust. He was ref uh, I did not see the predatory trust until three years after the death of mother. It is auth it's, auth it's authored an it authorized unlimited billing by attorneys, bankers, and their family members. My father had no clue. He wrote three wills and a trust in the last year of his life. The trust included life insurance, which was missing along with funds in the form of CDs, which Dad showed me the last time I visited with him. Evidence of the trust is strong but the courts ignore all evidence and no lawyer will pursue discovery. They bill and continue the abuse. Trusts are very private. Any questions regarding tr said trust provoke an attorney response of it wasn't funded. If you say it wasn't funded, they responded there was nothing. Trusts do not close but allow continued billing against the funds. After eight years of inactivity, the court awarded my father's estate to myself. The ultimate insult is that the IRS refuses access to my father's records, despite my estate executor paperwork. I am prevented from proving the abuse. And how large and extensive is this fraud upon the court?